Black Mind Written by James R. Spain Sixth Draft Final Shooting Script Completed May 31st, 2008 In the distance, a lone car violently drives through a grassy field. It is too dark to see inside, but the driver is obviously mad or even crazy. The car races on toward the tree line in the distance. Smack! The car drives into a tree. All is quiet for a moment. A car rests off the side of a reclusive hill. A young man lays on the ground by the closed passenger side door. As the man lay unconscious, blood begins to slowly trickle from his brow. His eyes squint from the early morning light as he raises his head to the surrounding beauty around him. He is alone. He struggles to the driver's seat and plops into it. He looks around the car for any clues, but it seems the most important clue is right in front of him. He pulls down the rearview mirror and looks into the eyes of a stranger. Uh, I can't remember. He rubs the blood from his eyes. My God. The man glances at the blood on his fingertips. Who the hell am I? He looks to the keys that dangle at the wheel of the car. He attempts to turn the key and start the engine. It's out of gas. Damn. Irritated, the man steps out of the car. He looks around for any signs of human life. Through some trees, it appears that someone is watching. Is he alone? Can anyone hear me? Hello? The world around him begins to blur. He decides to step back into the car and have a seat. It's his head. He must have banged it up real good. The world around him begins to black out around him. Before total blackness, he spots an image of a man standing beyond the car with gun in hand. The man attempts to open his eyes, but he, but he can't due to the major confusion he now suffers. Images of light and dark begin to flash from his vision as he still tries to open his eyes. It is now as if he were trapped within the darkness behind his eyes. All he can rely on is hearing. For a brief moment, all is quiet. There is peace. Suddenly, there is movement from behind. Someone is walking to the rear of the car. The trunk loudly pops open. The man once again attempts to open his eyes and fails. BAM! BAM! The sound of a 9mm handgun is fired twice. The car begins to bob up and down, almost as if the unidentified man is dragging something of weight from the trunk. There is a plop to the ground. A sound of something heavy being drugged is heard as the man once again falls into twilight. Darkness engulfs him now. He feels for clues. He's in a tight space. Am I alone? He reaches into his pocket and pulls out a lighter. He flicks it on in front of his view. He squints his eyes to get a better look. Shit. He burns his fingers and drops the lighter. He yells with all of his might as he attempts to kick the trunk open. Help me! The man comes to and finds himself again at the driver's seat. In a sudden panic, he, th he quickly opens the door and attempts to run as fast as he can. His unknown captor could still be behind him. No one has shot at him as of yet. The man decides to stop and catch his breath. He slowly looks behind to find the isolated car far in the distance. The man rants under his breath. I know you're out there. There isn't a soul around. He looks down to find a hefty branch at his feet. This could protect him. Well, not from a bullet. It still makes him feel a little better. 
He walks in the direction of the car. It's as if the trunk is calling to him. Why were you digging around in the trunk? He makes it to the trunk. It is closed but barely cracked open. With one hand still firmly gripped upon the branch, he slowly reaches with the other to unveil the secrets within the trunk. Shit. He quickly opens it and holds the branch to the air in a defensive position. Something hit him. It wasn't a person, but the smell of rotting blood that lie in puddles at the bottom of the trunk. He turns away from the car and begins to feel sick to his stomach. Light and dark once again pierce his vision. He falls to his knees. After catching his breath, he decides to walk back over to get a better glance. With nose covered, he attempts to make sense of what once laid in the trunk. There's also blood on the back end of the car from someone pulling whatever from the trunk. Something catches his attention in the passenger side window. It's his reflection, but wait. There is something beyond the image. It's a gun resting upon the passenger side seat. He glances all around. He opens the door and slowly reaches in for the gun. As he holds up the weapon, he realizes that blood covers the handle grip. Quickly dropping it, he makes a step back to collect his thoughts. He takes it again, wipes it off, and stuffs it in his jeans and decides to follow the trail of blood into the woods. As the hot sun makes its way above the tree line, the young man still follows the trail of something or someone being drugged through the forest floor. Traces of blood are still apparent. He walks for what seems like hours. Beads of sweat begin to form above his brow as he continues to struggle through the thick forest. Then suddenly, the blood trail stops. He takes a look around to make sure that nobody is around. The light and dark spells begin to act up slightly, and it's enough to scare him. There, ha there has to be water nearby. He decides that self-preservation is probably a good thing at the moment, and begins to make his quest for water. He finally discovers a small stream in the distance. It's like the sight of gold. He rubs his eyes and makes his way to the edge of the water to get a drink. He bends down and drinks. Someone is there. He can feel it. He turns to the forest behind him. Hello? Nobody's there. Only trees. Did he imagine it? He takes another drink. Wham! Someone forces his head under the water. He struggles to keep above. Whoever it is has an awesome amount of strength. Then he is released. He quickly turns. Still. Nobody is there. A sudden storm rushes over him, and the light and dark images once again cloud his mind. His eyes roll back into his head. He passes out near the water. The man awakes from his fallen daze to find himself several feet away from the stream where he once was. He stands and takes a deep breath. The gun! He fills his pants for the weapon. It's nowhere to be found. He looks by the stream and the surrounding area. He glares all around. I'm getting tired of this shit. Shoot me. Do something besides fucking with me. Nothing but silence follows. He lowers his head and decides to continue looking for a body. <laughs>